In 2016, Oculus Rooms revolutionized social VR. It was a personalized home that let you have friends over to hang out and play tabletop games while watching movies. This space was highly customizable. You could display your real-life photos on the walls, control the sky, and your surrounding views. Oculus Rooms was a big driving force in getting non-enthusiasts to purchase their first VR headset. Oh, hi! Whoa! <laughs> It seemed like the building block of the future of social VR, but was ultimately shut down, leading to John Carmack himself calling the whole thing embarrassing. And frankly, I'm kind of embarrassed about our social story here, but... So, what happened? Um, Oculus Rooms is a, a private virtual space to get together with your friends in VR. There are a whole bunch of interesting things to do in rooms, from watching TV together, to playing tabletop games, to launching multiplayer apps together. Oculus Rooms came out in December 2016 for the Samsung Gear VR, and was eventually ported to Oculus Go when it was released in 2018. Rooms offered many different ways to personalize a space. You could change the walls, the furniture, the decor, the skyline, the time of day, and even control just how quickly day turned into night. Photos on the walls could display your real-life Facebook photos, so you could really make the whole space your own. The room was divided into four sections. A games area, a chat area, a group app launcher, and a TV area. Each section was carefully designed to let users enjoy multiple features at once. For example, being in any area still gave you a full view of the TV. This meant that you could play tabletop games with your friends while still watching a movie or a show on platforms like Hulu, Facebook videos, or movies purchased through Oculus. The games area initially offered simple tabletop games like pairs, lights, trivia, checkers, and chess. But the success of Oculus Rooms among the general public eventually led to major brand Hasbro to license its games like Monopoly and Boggle. And the group app launcher let you jump into immersive experiences such as 360 degree videos with your entire party. Oculus Rooms was well received. Its availability in standalone headsets like the Oculus Go made it easy for the unfamiliar to experience social VR in a magical way, leading to many people to buy the Oculus Go just to experience Rooms. On the surface, Oculus Rooms was only destined to get bigger and better. Except, it didn't. Rooms was never ported to any other headset, even to the Quest when it was released in 2019. Even worse, Rooms was shut down altogether in October of that same year. Since Quest was basically what made standalone VR mainstream to most people, this meant that an entire generation of VR users never got to experience or even hear of Oculus Rooms. But why abandon something that both the public and the media loved? And we've been working on this for a while, and today uh, we want to announce an experience that we've been working on called Horizon. In Horizon, uh, you are going to be able to build your own worlds and experiences. Meta discontinued Rooms in order to reallocate its resources towards creating Horizon Worlds, the social VR app that they were betting to be THE social VR app. However, Horizon did not open to the public in the US and Canada until December 2021, or over two years since Rooms was cancelled. This meant a lack of meta-owned social VR apps during the height of the lockdown in 2020. This was the opportunity to defy distance, defy reality, and all of that. And I had made a pitch that, well, can we just resurrect rooms for this time? I mean, rooms for the pandemic here. Uh, nobody wanted to basically stop the scheduled things and everything that was already planned for this time. And frankly, I'm kind of embarrassed about our social story here, but thankfully it's been, the slack's been picked up by a lot of the third parties. Since resources were pulled away from several projects to focus on Horizon Worlds, there simply was no one willing and able to support Rooms. Those who were active in Oculus Rooms fought hard to get it back. But with most VR users not even knowing the existence of this app, the numbers were simply not in their favor. And if John Carmack himself couldn't move the needle then, it truly was a losing battle for the fans. We may never really know the fine details behind the scenes of why Oculus Rooms was shut down, or why Horizon Worlds still doesn't have the same base features. But ultimately, Meta is a business that aims to make money, 
so profits and politics most likely were the main reasons, and unfortunately, these obstacles were just too big for Oculus Rooms to overcome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoy this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos.